Hey there, uh, this is John from Chocolate Alchemy. Um, I'm going to show you how to roast, or, or how I roast, I should at least say, um, on my Royal No. 5 uh, Cocoa Roaster. It was originally a coffee roaster from, oh, it was probably built around 1905. Um, and they're real workhorses. There's not much to them um, from, from the standpoint of complexity. So they just keep running. Um, I'm going to talk about it a good bit, but, but I'm going to get the beans um, loaded in. I've been preheating it now for about five minutes. Um, we're up uh, about 400, getting close to 450 degrees. Um, a lot of that is just air temperature. It's not really what the drum temperature is. And I'm going actually a little higher because it's kind of cold in here right now. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get these dumped in and then we'll talk about it. Okay, that is going. Um, so just to tell you a little bit about the roaster and, and particularly why I like it. Uh, the drum's rotating about 45 RPM. Um, it's giving me really good agitation. Um, there's good convection inside. It's natural convection. Um, and I'm just going to bounce back and forth here. So this temperature um, is inside the bean mass. Um, it's up, it's threaded in, and it's inside. So it's going to plummet for a while. This isn't really a real temperature. It, it takes a while for that thermocouple mass to get back down. Um, so we're, we're, you know, we're coming down past uh, 212. I expect it to, to stabilize out at about 135, but we'll see what happens. Um, it's not really critical. Um, I've got full power to the burners on. This is a propane roaster. Um, and what I'm going to do is give it full power for uh, probably a good 10 minutes uh, until it hits uh, the boiling point of water, about 212 or so. At that point, I'm going to start pulling the heat back a little bit, and I'm going to start jettisoning just a little bit of the heat. I've got a, a butterfly valve on this that lets me uh, vent some of that heat. Um, it's my way of controlling it, bringing it in gently. Um, so we're down, you know, we're down to 160 or so. Um, nothing, nothing particularly that I smell. Um, it's just roasting. So we're going to let that go. And in a few minutes, we'll come back. And I'll, I'll show you as so I make some adjustments. All right. Looks like um, we did stabilize a little above the one, that 130, 35 mark. We're at about. 145, which again, that's fine. It's just where it equilibrates. Um, I'm roasting 25 pounds of beans right now. Um, it's actually possible for this roaster to take 35 pounds of beans. Um, it is uh, plumb to put out 42,000 BTUs uh, per hour. So that, that, you can actually do the math on that. Um, it's a good way to size a roaster. So um, a good capacity, 45 or 42,000 BTUs. Uh, for 35 pounds of beans. And that's pretty, that's maximum. Um, I can't hit my roast profiles of a, a 20 minute roast with less power than that. Um, at 25 pounds, I've got plenty of power to work with and I'll actually be dialing the heat back some. So, um, and as we now start to see, we're gonna start climbing. Um, and it's a pretty steady climb to uh, 212, as I said. And at that point, most of the moisture will be off. And if I don't turn the heat down, the temperature is going to start ramping up really fast. And I don't want that to happen. I, I want it actually to go asymptotical, if you're looking at a graph, to what my end temperature of about 250 is. So again, uh, we'll come back when we're roughly at 212. I'll show you turning it down and, and talk about some of the aromas. Right now, there's not much of anything, it's just uh, neutral. So, all right, we'll be back. Okay, as I want to do, um, I, I, I lied, it's not quite at 212 yet, but what I wanted to point out was with this mass of beans, um, I can actually stick my hand in here and it comes away, I don't know if you can see it, 
actively damp. There is just moisture pouring off of this. Um, you know, do that again. And yeah, it's actually slick right now, just from that short amount. So we're, we're pouring um, moisture off, even you know, before it's at 212. Um, again, not really getting any roasting smells. It's, it's just moisture at the moment. This is the, what would be constituted as a drying phase. Um, all right, again, there we go. We're gonna, we're gonna let that go for a little bit more. So what I'm doing here is actually continuing to judge the moisture by how much is coming off. Um, I, I roast by most of my senses. Uh, smell, okay, not, not all. Um, you know, a little bit of sight. I've actually got some uh, vent holes right here that, in the back. I can watch the moisture coming up. Um, I definitely can smell. So here, I wanna make a note. We're at 215 and I have moisture coming off still. And so what I want, just did was did a little bypass on the airflow through the drum. Um, it's going to both cool it a little bit, it's going to slow it down, and it's going to help jettison moisture. Um, because I want to dry, finish drying those out before I finish taking them up. Um, and what I'm kind of just waiting for, and it's drying pretty quickly. Um, I'm not getting that moisture in my hand, just even in just a couple minutes. Um, so again, it's, it's senses that I do, and it's just what I've learned over years and years. How you can use it, I'm not honestly sure. I'm just showing you how I roast. Um, okay, so that's actually drying out really nicely, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and close off my venting again. So I'm back to the temperature, just or all the heat's in the drum, um, and cold air, just bypass air is going out. Um, so we're going to watch that temperature come up. Yeah, that's a nice dry quality of air now. Um, I'm getting some aromas now. Um, notably, actually acetic acid, vinegar. Uh, it's a little actually sharp on my throat. Um, even with this hood system, I can, I can sm feel it. Um, we're at 2.30. That's coming up on the faster side. I'm going to pull my heat down. I've got a valve back here. I'm going to move. There we go. Um, so what I've done is just now reduced my power to the burners. Because again, I want to come in gently and I want to give the beans time to, to react, to roast. It's not all about temperature, it's how you get there. It's the journey. Um, and so I want to give them you know, time to get there. Um, oh, I, and I'm getting some toasty notes now. Um, graham cracker, a um, little bit of baking bread, um, and actually, we just got our first outlier. Um, it's a little early for most of the pots, but not too much. We're at, you know, 238, 239. And for that, I'm going to turn it down yet again. And at the same time, I just, um, I just half opened my valve. I want to, again, I want to slow my roast down a little bit. I want it time to develop. Um, there we go, uh, 240. And this is just, um, I'm roasting right now Dominican Republic um, Eden No. Um, and it's for a custom order. Uh, they've asked for a slightly darker roast for, um, this is actually gonna be used in beer brewing. So they, they want a slightly darker character to it. Um, if I was roasting for chocolate, um, Experience tells me for this bean, for this roaster, um, I want to pull it between 250 and 255. Um, and actually, wow, and there's some nice cinnamon notes actually that just I just noticed. Um, chocolate aroma is coming up. Um, and you notice our temperature isn't rocketing up now. I'm coming up very slowly. Sort of like um, the inverse of stopping at a stop sign. You know, you just creep up to it. You don't slam on the brakes all at once. Um, and I'm gonna keep an eye. I want it to keep coming up, but I don't want it to drop. If it starts to lag, I'll pull my, my valve closed to keep more heat in the roaster. Um, but it's coming up fine. Um, for this particular one, uh, again, for the request of the customer, the, the brewing, I'm gonna probably take this 
to, um, until I can smell some darker notes, probably 260, maybe 265. I'm not beholden on this. This is just a benchmark for me. I'm going by my smell. Um, I don't taste my beans. I find for myself, it doesn't tell me anything. I don't find enough differences to know when it's there. Um, so just comment. That is bone dry. There's, there's just no moisture coming off. I wouldn't expect any. I'm just commenting. Um, good. We're coming up to 250, 249. There we go. That is all doing fine. Okay, and I really like how that, um, the character of the aroma is coming off. At this point, actually, I would be totally happy dropping this. When I, when I say dropping, I mean dumping into my cooling tray here um, for, for, for chocolate. It's, it's a great level. Um, and again, we have broad windows here um, for, for when am I going to be done. I'm not watching a clock. I've got it recorded so I can make a note of it for consistency, but I'm not being beholden to it. Again, senses. Um, okay, 251. What I'm actually going to go ahead and do now is I like the way it's, the, the flavor's been developed. I'm actually now going to give it a little more heat um, just to bring some of those darker notes in um, without now flattening the profile. I don't want to stretch it out too long. Um, I want to go ahead and finish it up. So there, that's closed up. The, the valve, that's a butterfly valve, I keep opening and closing. Um, and what we should start to see is that temperature coming up. Um, as I've uh, noted before, you know, we're, when I roast on the Bee More, it's right now too. I'm getting that edge of acridness that tells me this is where you want to be or maybe have, have been a little bit long before. Which is just what I said. I'd be, I'd be dumped. I would have already dumped this for chocolate. I am purposefully taking it a little farther for some brewing. Yep, that that, that acridness is there. Um, it, it catches me right in the back of the throat. Um, not burning it by any stretch of the imagination. There's no color difference. Um, I'm doing this just to look at it. Um, they're not that hot. I mean. They're 250, 260. They're, they've plumped up really nicely. Um, and I, I keep doing it this way. Um, 20 years as a chemist, you never stick your nose in something. Um, among other things, you don't want a big input into your nose. But um, it's a way to get a scent of something without over uh, saturating your nose. After a while, if you do that all the time, and I wasn't inhaling, but if you do, um, you stop being able to smell. You can't tell when something's done. Um, so anyway, and there we go. I can start to see actually some, a little bit of, yeah, I guess it is officially smoke, but vapors coming off at least, um, which is what I would expect uh, for that, this roast level. Yep, and we are, we are basically there. Um, this one I will not be taking to 265. I like the character as it is right now. Um, maybe another minute. Just gonna let that go. Um, basically, I'm gonna get ready to dump this into its tray. Um, and we'll probably just go ahead and cool. Uh, it, it'll then cool. I've got a fan I'm gonna put on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign off as soon as we dump. Um, and if you have questions on this, um, you know, again, always feel free to write me. All right. Thanks for letting me show you my Royal number five. Uh, I love it. <laughs>